Hello guys, Nighthawk Bros from YouTube, and we just wanted to highlight a local problem that we have and really hope that we can use our social media presence to hopefully fix or at least alleviate some of the stress caused by the situation. So. Correct. And I guess that situation being the spotter and lantern fly, it's something that's been really overlooked right now given the current uh, nature of everything going on in 2020 right now with COVID and just everything else going on with it being an election year. I, I mean, personally, I feel like this is something that's being overlooked and it's going to impact our local economy and eventually it could impact uh, the, the economy of the whole United States or right. even the world. I mean, this this bug, the spotted lanternfly, covered South Korea in two years, went from one side of the country to the other destroying as it goes and this bug destroys and that's because it went unchecked so we're kind of shedding light on that or just being a small part of shedding light on that i guess you actually have one on your hat right now who's just kind of hanging out they are everywhere i don't know if you can see the tree behind us and like you can see these trees here right next to each other this tree has nothing on it maybe one or two but they not even not even one or two this tree is absolutely covered I think this is something that hasn't been covered by the news enough, and it's something that, I mean, he was talking about it destroying industry. I mean, it has the potential to kill up to $18 billion worth of trees and products that come from those trees just in Pennsylvania alone. So it's not only trees that are going to be affected from this, but the local wine industry is going to be affected greatly from this. They do target uh, the vines, and that's, that's, that's awful. Yeah. So these, these bugs originated from Berks County in 2014 and they've they've been putting amazing efforts out trying to slow these things down but it's just I think a lot of people don't realize the effect or the magnitude of what's going on here I mean say like before I came to this park I didn't think it was that bad I saw one or two but I mean you see some of the clips we're showing in here hundreds thousands of them on these trees so it currently feels like we're being rained on, but it's actually something called honeydew. It's the lanternfly's excrement, and it lays on the ground and on the tree. It looks like black spray paint behind us. That will eventually cause mold, killing the foliage around the tree. And it's, it's honestly disgusting, because it does feel like we're getting spritzed on right now. It smells and terrible it smells, as well. It, it smells is, really weird, causes all kinds of mold growth. I mean, it's... It can't be good for any plants, any animals, can't be good for humans either. And if this gets to a point where it could really be dangerous to humans if we're breathing all this in. That's awful. Funny side note. So chickens will eat just about anything. I've had 17 or 18 chickens back at the farm and chickens will not eat spotted, lan spotted lantern flies. Yeah, and finding something that a chicken won't eat is pretty hard. Fact. So one thing we've, we've seen and a few questions that have been raised is, does the spotter and lanternfly have a, an enemy? Do they have something, a predator, essentially? Yeah, so, so they do, the praying mantis, and I believe there's a few others, but the praying mantis being the main one. And it's a very dominant predator. The problem is, there's nowhere near enough of popula a population of them to eradicate this problem. And to bring in a population required that could handle this, you could destroy the natural ecosystem. I mean, because they, they're not going to eat just these. They don't know, they don't know any better. So, so after our honeybees, because I've exactly. seen them destroy our yeah. honeybees. That was something we actually had a, a few bee boxes that were, we, we saw that happen. So an interesting fact about the female spotted lanternfly is they can lay in the fall up to 100 plus eggs. So each one of these behind us, I don't know how to distinguish a male from a female. But just imagine if even half of these laid 100 plus eggs, what we would be dealing with just here locally. We're, we're talking about exponential growth and something that if it keeps going is not going to be controllable. So it's, it's really important that we handle this. Agreed. I mean, just going back to what Zach said about it took two years for these guys to cover all of South Korea, primarily because they were unchecked. But I mean, that's, that's a ridiculous amount of growth. I mean, that's... That's two life cycles, I believe. Mm -hmm. Insane. Yeah. So now I'm gonna throw a chart up on the screen that shows the different life cycles 
as well as what time of year they're going to be in those cycles. Um, this really shows you the evolution of the lantern fly the whole way from egg to uh, the full grown lantern flies that you see here. Um, and through different times of the year, you're going to be looking for something different. So it's important to know what you're looking for so that we can take care of this. That is, that is a great point. I mean, in the beginning of uh, spring, early summer, it was hard to distinguish, you know, when I was looking at them in the backyard, it was like, I'm not sure that could be, but it's going to be great to know to have that chart, you know. Mm -hmm. So Zach, if I come across something like this, a big infestation of spotted lanternfly, what should I do? So what you're going to want to do is go to the PA.gov website. We'll have that link down below and they'll have a map that shows the quarantine area. If you are outside of the quarantine area and you have spotted lanternflies, you're instructed to call the number right here, 1-888-4-BADFLY. And we also want to start a hashtag, hashtag badfly, and feel free to share you going out and killing as many of these things as you can. We, uh, we really want to reach out to the local government and see what they recommend, and hopefully they can add a section on their website to how to kill these things. With COVID-19 right now, a lot of these departments are probably not full staff, probably not out able to contain these things. So if we can help them and use our influence to really curb this thing, I mean, we could save tens of thousands of trees, hundreds millions, of thousands, hundreds of, of millions in, it's, in industry as it's, well. It's crazy. I mean, the impact that we could have on the local environment is unlike anything that we have really had an opportunity as the public to help with before. So. Please use hashtag badfly and let's destroy these bugs.